how's it going today we're going to do our transformation this transformation question okay so we're not going to we're probably not going to cover the whole question but what we do is uh, we'll just do it uh, maybe in two parts okay so uh, this is a question on transformation uh, you the way that I've arranged it it's not the way that you see it in your question paper but essentially all the questions they are here okay so you have you're told the instruction is answer the whole of this question on the grid below okay use the scale two centimeters to represent one unit on both axes okay let me show you here so two centimeters represent one box like from here to here on your graph paper okay that's what you want to commit to mind so you're, you're told that two centimeters represent one unit okay so for every box you're going to put one unit there this is the graph paper that you'll be having you have to ascertain where exactly are you going to put the the x-axis where are you going to put the y-axis the reason that's important is if you put a very lousy or an incorrect axis you might not be able to draw some of the points okay so you want to be really strategic strategic with it if they tell you the range then it's 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 rather better that way but then if they don't then you actually have to reason from the points that you have so the way that I would see I would, I would do this is uh, the points that I'm seeing here for the triangles, just a cursory glance. This is 1, 3, 0.21, this is point, uh, 4, 3, this is uh, 4, 4, negative 6. So I'm seeing uh, on the extreme end of, of um, the y-axis, I'm seeing negative 6 here. So you can actually gauge such that I'm getting negative 6 at least being mapped on the, on the graph. On the x-axis, there is not much to see here. We don't have any too many negatives. It's just negative one and, and four here. So we also, well, we are going to include maybe uh, at best negative two. And then we will include uh, all the other uh, points going forward. Okay, so we're going to start with negative two. But on the x -x, on the y-axis, we say that uh, negative six going forwards. Okay, so I'm going to check this is my ruler. This is what I'll be using. So negative six, if we say this one, it's point, uh, let's say negative, uh, let's say negative uh, uh, seven. So negative six, five, four, three, two, one, right in the middle, okay. So this is where I'm going to draw my, my x-axis so that I, I'm able to accommodate uh, both the y-axis and, then, and the, the x-axis, okay. So afterwards, I also have to draw the for the for the y-axis for the uh, y-axis so this 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 is where i said i'll only accommodate a few uh, negative value for for x and then uh, i can actually do it right in the middle so that i have here i have at least five boxes here i have uh, at least five five boxes as well so here this is my my axis and i'm going to put a line here so that's it so this one I'm going to call it my my y-axis and this one I'm going to call it my my x-axis okay so just like this and then the points I have to use so it says um two centimeters to represent one point on both axes so this one has to be one this one two this one three this one four going forward and this one should be negative one negative two negative three negative four like this this one should be my zero point one two three four five so you want to uh, take care of the of the scale and make sure that uh, the scale it's it's the required scale so we're good here so if you want you can even say negative 78 it's still fine okay so what what's our question saying our question is asking us to uh, label triangle p q r so we, we need to uh, p is one three and q is two one so one three and two one so one here then three should be this point right here okay so what i do is i only put a single point and then i put this okay one three and two one so we have to double check this point here to make sure that uh, i recall it correctly so correctly so it's two one yeah so this is p this is q and four four three so four uh then three so it should be this point here okay so like this and this is my my p this is the first one that i drew this one is my q this one is my r okay so you asked to draw the the triangle so now 
I have to use my So this is it. Again, my points are P, Q, and R like this. Okay, so this one you'll be getting about two about two marks for this, I think. And um, you asked the triangle P1, Q1, R1 is an image of the triangle P, Q, R under a reflection in the line Y equal to negative X. So you should be able to uh, draw the, the line, the reflection the line of reflection of y equal to negative x. Okay, so let me just show you. So this is y equal to negative x. So when y is when x is equal to zero, y equal to zero. So we have one point here. The point is zero zero. Okay, so for you to draw a straight line, you need uh, only two points. Then the, the other point you can say when x is equal to uh, one, then y is equal to negative one. Okay, so we have zero zero and one negative one. That's one way to do it. But another way to uh, do it, which is uh, a lot faster, is to just know that the line y equal to x is uh, the symmetrical line, especially when, when you're drawing, when you're using the, the same scale for, for both x's, okay? So it would actually be this one and maybe this one if you want, or maybe even this one as well. So four negative four like this. Then you just take your ruler and then you have to join all those points. So the way that you draw it is you have to put some dots here, so dotted line. And then once you're done with that, you have to label. So this is y equal to negative x like this, okay? So you need a reflection of this triangle in the, in this line here. You have to map these points uh, on this line here and then bouncing to this line, as if this were a mirror line, okay? So the way that uh, you do it is to, let me actually demonstrate here. So what, what you're looking for here is to find a perpendicular that gets to this point here. You can actually use um, uh, set squares for, for, this, for this part. Uh, so essentially, you have this point, and then this one is 90 degrees here. Okay, I'm not going to show it, but then it's essentially 90 degrees. So equidistant from the from the from the perpendicular. So equidistant from here would be would be this point here. Okay. So I actually know that uh, my point is is here. Okay. So you can also do the same thing for this one is my perpendicular line. So if you want to uh, test the perpendicular, you can start with with this line here. Okay. Then you start moving now to find your points. So you can see that it's crossing two boxes. So here it also has to cross two boxes. So my point should be here, okay? So this is where my reflection point is. And um, you can also do the same thing for, for this point right here. So it's crossing one, two, three, and, and a half. So this is half, one, two, three. So here, okay? So my points would be this one here, this one here to reflect this one, and this one here to reflect this one, okay? So my points would be, this one would be P prime, this one would be Q prime, uh, Q prime, this one would be R prime, okay? And uh, the last task is to just join them. So it'd be this, and Snap in place. This and this. Okay. So this is it. This is my my triangle. The triangle that's that's required. So the the important thing that you have to do here is to uh, remember. To just put, uh, uh, if you want, you can use uh, a set, set squares, those two. You can put one set square here. Uh, it actually requires me illustrating, so I'll try to do a video where I'm doing this on a desk so that you can see how you do it. But essentially, uh, you want the uh, perpendicular to this. So you want something that cuts 
this way and then the perpendicular to, to y equal to negative x. And what you do now is to gauge, to say, okay, from here to the to the line crossing here, uh, how far is it? So sometimes I count the number, the uh, times that the that the my ruler is crossing. So let, let me just illustrate again for for a single point. Uh, let's. So what I do is I try to gauge my line here because I know that uh, this is the line which is perpendicular to to uh, the line that I'm dealing with right now. So this is my perpendicular line and so this is my perpendicular line and now what I do is that I can just shift it you can do this with uh, with a set of uh, with this with set squares a pair of them you can shift uh, to you can shift so that you can get a parallel line at the point where it intersects at P here so I count boxes it's crossing one and then it's crossing the second box so the reflection is to cross the the second box as well, right into the into the reflection. So one, two, and then that's how I identify this point here. And uh, for for the eye, it's also the same thing. So you have eye here. You count how many times does it, how many times the cross boxes. Sometimes you have to. It depends, but sometimes you just have to gauge. Okay, the distance. What is it? So in this case, it's one, two, three and a half. That's why I said half. And then you'd go one, two, three, and then you'd identify a point. Okay. But then this is essentially, this is triangle P prime, uh, Q prime, R prime. 